I'm Dr. Romano, Professor of Organic Chemistry here in Romano Scientific in New York, and I am here today with mathematician Professor Louis Blois. He's going to go over some really great questions for you today on, what's the topic today? We're going to be doing uh, averages? Arithmetic averages, yes. We're going to be doing averages and it's sure to delight. All right, Professor, show us what you got. Okay, let's do these two problems. Let's look at the first one. Given 10 sacks of potatoes, the average number of potatoes in each of the sacks is 26. If the average number of potatoes in each of six of those sacks is 30, what is the average number of potatoes in each of the remaining four sacks? So, in this problem, we have to realize that what is average? Average is the sum of all the scores divided by the number of scores. So, the average number of potatoes in each sack is the sum of the potatoes in all the sacks divided by 10. Okay, let's find out what the total number of potatoes is. That's what we're going to need to solve this problem. So, we know that the average is 26. What is the sum of all the potatoes we have? We don't know but it's divided by 10, that's equals to 26. So therefore, the number of potatoes in all the 10 sacks is 10 times 26, 260. All right, let's find out what the average, what the total number of potatoes is in those remaining six sacks. It says, if the average number of potatoes in each of those six sacks is 30, so that the average is 30, this is the sum of the potatoes in those six sacks divided by six, that means the sum of the potatoes, the number of potatoes in each of those six sacks is six times three or 180. All right, now here's what we want. What is the average number of potatoes in each of the remaining four sacks? We want to evaluate this expression. So all we need is the value of S sub four. What is the number of potatoes in those remaining four sacks? Well, I know that the total number of potatoes in the 10 sacks is equal to the number of potatoes in the six sacks plus the number of potatoes in the four sacks. Six and four is 10. So I know that S sub 10, the sum of the total number of potatoes, is 260. The number of potatoes in the six sacks that are designated is 180, and that's added to S plus four. So it's very easy to solve for S sub four. We subtract 180 from both sides and we'll get 80. The number of potatoes in those four sacks is 80. Now that allows us to complete this equation. The average number of potatoes in those four sacks is the total number of potatoes in those four sacks, which is 80. That's divided by four, and the answer is 10. Okay, and uh, that's the 10 is not, uh, oh, sorry, it's 20, 20. Four goes into 80 20 times, of course, and here's our answer, all right? <laughs> okay, let's go to the next problem. If the average age of 15 members of a society is 60, right, if two of the members, age 40 and 80, are removed, what is the average age of the remaining members? Same thing. The definition of average is the sum of all the scores in the data set divided by the number of scores. Well, the average age is 60, okay, what is the sum of all the ages in the 15 people in the society? It's gonna be that sum divided by 15. Well, how many are, what's the sum of the ages in all 15 members? It's gonna be 60 times 15 or 900. All right, now what happens? Two members, age 40 and 80, are removed. So that means, what do we have here? We have Two members removed from 15, so that means we only have 13 members. And what's the sum of the ages in those remaining 13 members? Well, it's going to be the 900 of the original 15 minus 40 minus 80. So this is 900 minus 120, and that's going to be 900 minus 100 is 800. 800 minus 20 is 780. Okay. What's the average age of those remaining 13 people? Well, the, the, here's the formula. The average of the 13 people is the sum of the 13 people, in the, the ages of the 13 people there, divided by 13. Very easy. We have the sum of the ages of the 13 people is 780 divided by 13. And now it looks like it's going to be 6, right? Uh, thir 6 times 13, 6, 12, 18, carry the 1. It looks like it's going to be 60. So the average age of those remaining 13 members is 60. And there's our solution right there.
It's about as good as it gets um, on averages. Good work, Professor Blois. To see more of Professor Blois's work, go to our current edition of the Math Destroyer, which Professor Blois, along with Professor Baron Goats, were um, instrumental in creating those two books. Okay, good luck to you. I will see you in study group. Bye-bye.